Statements. Member from York Center. Mr. Speaker, in a ceremony at Queen's Park later today, we will recognize and honor 12 Holocaust survivors whose stories of anguish, suffering, and survival of both body and spirit are a testimony to the human will to live. These Holocaust survivors who are in the House today came to Ontario, rebuilt their lives, and will be honored for their wonderful contribution as citizens of Ontario. And those to be honored are Irving Bart, Sam Bart, Jan Blumenstein, Gita Gans, Dave Gold, Max Eland, Laurie Jacobs, Martin Kulbach, George Lansman, Manny Langner, Norman C. Brutgolow, and George Stern. Today we recognize Yam Hashova Hagrura, Holocaust Memorial Day, a day designated for Holocaust remembrance in communities around the world. This is the 22nd year the Ontario Legislature has observed Holocaust Memorial Day, and I'm proud to say that Ontario was the first jurisdiction in the world outside of the State of Israel to officially recognize it. As we mourn the death of the six million victims, we also celebrate the lives of those who survived. I have visited Yad Vashem, the Holocaust Memorial and Museum in Jerusalem, several times. The memorial is dedicated to preserving the memory and the story of each of the six million people who died in the Holocaust. And as a Jew, these memories strike the heart and the soul. Every Jew is touched by the Holocaust. We lost loved ones, family members or friends. All members in the community lost someone. The Holocaust echoes through the generations. The loss is extraordinary. At Yad Vashem, that loss is made real. It is concrete. You can touch it. In the valley of the community, you stand before wall after wall, carved out of solid rock, listing the names of more than 5,000 communities that lived, breathed, had life, in which men and women loved, married, raised children, worked, laughed, and worshipped. Today, in most cases, nothing remains of these Jewish communities except for their names, forever frozen in the bedrock of Yad Vashem. It was there that I found the name of the city where my father was born, Chensakova, and the city where my mother was born, Sosnovitz. The Holocaust reaches out of the past and touches the shoulder of every Jew. For years, survivors walked among us with tattoos to mark the horror they lived through. Their stories, their scars, and the numbers carved callously into their skins made the Holocaust real, personal, and powerful for generations to come. There are fewer and fewer survivors still living. Fewer people are telling first-hand accounts of personal experiences. Soon, the tattoos will be seen only in pictures, movies, and museums. While the stories slowly fade with them, the hard-learned lessons for those who survived rebuilt and rose up. The central theme of Holocaust Martyrs and Heroes Remembrance Day 2015 is 70 years since the end of the war, the pain of liberation and rebuilding a life. The partisan Abba Kovner used to tell about a Jewish survivor whom he had met in Vilina when accompanying the liberating Soviet soldiers and when they uh, arrived to the destroyed ghetto the woman and the little girl she carried in her arms hid in a small nook for almost a year. And with the liberation came out for the first time from their hiding place. Seeing her mother crying while telling her story for the first time, suddenly the girl asked in Yiddish, Mother, are we allowed to cry already? Holocaust Memorial Day commemorates all who died in the Holocaust, not just Jews. We also remember those whom the Nazis targeted for their rare race, their religion, their politics, their disabilities, or their sexual orientation. It's important to set aside time to remember all these victims whose lives were taken by the Nazis and remembering we bear witness to what these men, women, and children endured. Tragically, other genocides have followed since World War II in Cambodia and Rwanda, Darfur, and in Bosnia. It's evident that we must continue our struggle to keep alive the spirit of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights approved by the United Nations 67 years ago in the shadow of the Holocaust. 
The Declaration recognized the inherent dignity and the equal and inalienable rights of all of its members of the human family as the foundation of freedom, justice, and peace throughout the world. It called on the world to protect human rights by the rule of law. We are indeed fortunate to live in Canada and in Ontario, but we must never take our good fortune for granted. We must guard our democratic institutions and democratic freedoms. We must appreciate, nurture, and protect them. And we must constantly remind ourselves how easy it is to lose them. On Sunday, April the 19th, 2015, at 11 a.m., a community Holocaust commemoration ceremony will take place at Beth Abraham Yosef of Toronto at 613 Clark Avenue, West Thornhill, to commemorate the six million Jewish souls who perished in the Holocaust and to educate future generations of Canadians about the universal lessons of this dark period in history. On Yom HaShoah, Jewish communities around the world uh, recite a brief traditional mourner's prayer, the Kaddish. I want to continue our tradition of saying Kaddish in memory of those people whose yard site is unknown. And on behalf of the victims, the survivors, and their families, I'd like to recite that Hebrew prayer that is something for which all people may pray. And I ask for unanimous consent to allow me to do that. The member from York Centre has asked for unanimous consent to recite the prayer. Uh, do we agree? Agreed. Agreed. But I ask all members of the House to please stand while the member from York Centre recites the prayer. Yet Gedal Vigit Tatash, Shemei Rabba, Vyoma Divra, Rute, Vyam Lich Malchute, Vachaya Honu, Vyam of Honu, Vachai de Kolbe, Yisuel, Va Agola, Uvisman Kariv, Vyamru, Omein. Yehe Shemei Rabba, Mavorach, Leolam, Ulame, O Mayo, Yisbarach, Yistabach, Yispoar, Visriman, Visnase, Yisadar, Visalo, Visalo, Shemei de Kudisho, Varehu, Vyelom in Kolbe, Hota, Vishirota, Tishbichata v'nechemata da'amiron b'yomo v'yemru o'mein. Yehei shlomo rabo amin shamaya v'chayim olenu v'yoko yeshuel v'yemru o'mein. O se sholom b'rememov, huya se sholom olenu v'yoko yeshuel v'yemru o'mein. One line of this prayer translates as he who creates peace in his celestial heights, may he create peace for us. We must always remember so that the world will never forget. Thank you. Thank you.